Hello. My name is Stephen Bulger, owner of Stephen Bulger Gallery in Toronto, Canada. Uh, a few days ago, I did a little walk through the gallery to commemorate the gallery's 25th anniversary, um, which was on March 23rd. And the plan is uh, for the foreseeable future to continue making videos to let people out there know what we're doing in here, or at least what I'm doing. My staff is safely at home. I live about a 10 minute walk from here. Um, and uh, I thought to begin, uh, it might make sense to talk about my general interest in photography before I go into my specific interests in terms of the people that we represent and exhibit. So without going into my baby pictures, I can say that uh, photography was a hobby uh, from a pretty young age. I think I was eight or nine when I received my first Kodak Instamatic camera, uh, which had those cartridges in the back and you take the film to the drugstore. I love the anticipation of waiting to see if the pictures I had taken of family and events uh, turned out as well as I wanted them to, uh, to have those records of these things that were important to me. Uh, by high school, it became a more active hobby that um, I, uh, after the summer of grade nine, had a dark room in the basement, self-taught myself uh, cibachrome printing, so making color prints from color slides. And uh, that was a refuge for me. I, I wasn't very happy with my studies in high school. And um, so there was a lot of uh, creative input and interest that went into the work that I did in this dark room. Uh, I remember an early success was um, walking out of the house one day and uh, there was a car parked near, the near our house uh, with this really, you know, terrific blue metallic paint on it. And um, on the hood of the car was what I can only describe as the largest bird turd I had ever seen in my life. And I was fascinated by the, the scale of it. And um, anyway, I framed it up and took a photograph of it. And uh, weeks later, it started to make uh, prints of it. And I um, was happy with the results uh, because it, it didn't look like what it was. It had uh, transcended itself and I would present it to friends and family and people were like, oh, like, is this a comet or what is this? And, you know, and I would tell them, well, no, it's actually a bird turd on the hood of a car. And people were amazed. And I can't tell you the enjoyment that gave me in terms of sort of making something out of nothing and uh, sort of uh, giving a subjective statement to something that existed out in the real world. And like I said, it, I transformed it into something or it transcended itself into something more. And um, my mom was a painter, so I knew the idea of making things to display. Um, and I started to have high aspirations of wanting to be a photographer. Um, you know, years earlier, my Aunt Marg had given me a uh, subscription to National Geographic, which I, you know, devoured and wanted to take those types of pictures around the world. Uh, my uncle Durham was a radiologist and a very active photographer who had this great dark room in the basement that was like this room of mystery for me that I would sneak into at family occasions and just sort of look at all the stainless steel and beakers and stuff and not really knowing exactly what happened in there, but it stayed with me. And, um, Anyway, eventually I studied at Ryerson University, a four-year BA in still photography. And um, I'll show you a couple of pictures of that time, um, or from that time. Uh, this is one, we were asked to do an assignment about, uh, you know, a day in the life of. And uh, so I decided to take photographs in Coburg, which was a place my parents were from at different times of their life and where we would uh, spend our summers. And this is the quick clean coin wash and our family had a country squire station wagon similar to the one that you see in the picture and I was happy to make a photograph of something that was familiar to me that I could share with other people. Um, I would also start to take photographs of things that I didn't know or had discovered. Um, like this photograph, uh, sorry I'm just trying to get it framed better. Um, I just love the simplicity of it. Uh, I love the color of it, the light, the way it was coming across the face of that uh, humble structure. What you can't see is that red sign, or at least I can't imagine you can read it, but it says reserved parking. 
and that just gave me a lot of delight uh, seeing a sign reserve parking on something that was almost in the middle of nowhere. Um, anyway, that uh, was during Ryerson years. Uh, that year in uh, third year, I had Dave Heath as a instructor, and so you would take work for his critique, and um, he had interesting things to say about the photographs, but before saying too much, he said, you know, I'm sure you're familiar with Wright Morris, and I was like, no, who is Wright Morris? And um, he said, well, take this book, you know, go to the library, there's this book called The Inhabitants. Um, so it's not really this copy, I ended up buying my own years later. Um, and right off the bat, like this is the first photograph in the book. And I thought, wow, like that's a great photograph. Continued to go through the book. And then when I got about a third of the way there, I came to this famous photograph, sorry about that, the Gano Grain Elevator, and really started to think, you know, I have to either up my game or give up. Um, so at first I tried to up my game and uh, make work that was a lot more personal. Um, by fourth year, we had moved from the family home that I'd lived in since uh, I think I was like two or three years old um, uh, into a condominium. My father was ill. We needed a place that was just on one ground floor for the wheelchair. And um, anyway, that, uh, this is a photograph I made of my bedroom. So it was a straight color photograph of uh, the bedroom. Um, and then I would take other photographs in black and white of different details in the room, uh, one there, one there, one there, and uh, I would cut uh, shapes out of the color photograph to insert these other black and white photographs inside, and then I used to add text. So I'll just read what it says at the bottom of, this, uh, of the mat here. Anyway, a while ago we moved to Don Mills although I really don't want to name names. An apartment living has since led to a peculiar interaction with nature. To cure myself of house sickness, I bought a tree to brighten up my room. Although it looks healthy and is well cared for, I keep thinking that maybe it feels the same as I about Don Mills. So brief introduction. Uh, we'll be back to you soon with some more uh, thoughts and insights. Thank you.